Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, right now, I'm in Texas. I'm actually at my apartment in Texas over here with Complexity. We're getting ready for the Call of Duty War Championships. I'm going to be bringing you guys a World War II cut com. Something crazy happened to me in New York, as you guys can tell by the title. I know my room is like super blank right now, and I apologize for that. Um, but this is like the best I could do. I literally went all the way out to Best Buy to get a brand new capture card so I can make some videos while I'm out here because I'm going to be here for like a week. And then we have Call of Duty World Champs. This is everything to me, guys. Like, I literally sacrificed so much. I, I don't have a girlfriend anymore because of this. Like, I want to win this so bad. We're going to be straight up grinding for the next like five days, I think. We're going to be playing against Optic, Luminosity, and Envy over here on LAN every single day. We start tomorrow versus Optic. This is what it's all about, man. Like the last two Call of Duty championships, I actually analyzed and I was like working with the CWL and I was watching these teams play and I was watching these teams compete. And to be able to have the opportunity to compete at Champs this year, to be able to have the opportunity to potentially win the event is just amazing to me and I can't wait. I'm going to take full advantage of this. And you guys should also take advantage of Squarespace, okay? You like that plug right there? This video is actually sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. So guys, I want to hop into a game right now. I never even played this Sandbox 24-7 playlist yet. It looks kind of crazy, but I want to talk a little bit more about Squarespace towards the end of the video. I want to tell you guys what happened to me yesterday, or I guess it was like three days ago now. Uh, what happened to me, it was insane. Like these last couple of weeks since I got back from, the S, uh, from S2 from the Call of Duty World League has been crazy for me, guys. Like, first of all, I had the flu for like a good eight days, and I was really, really sick for like a good four or five of them. Then right after that, I had to go to a wedding and then right after that i got a freaking car accident so like these last two weeks for me have just been crazy and right, this is kind of insane like i have no idea what to expect right here this is this is really wild so we got some giant cranes we got some some giant freaking houses we got what is that thing it was a freaking light i think that's like a magnifying glass i think i saw the preview this is crazy like i want to know if any of you guys have played this playlist at all yet but yeah so it was my dad's birthday it was papa sensor's birthday and this dude by the way is a freaking savage guys like this guy papa sensor wants to have a shirt at champs i'm kidding this is exactly what he said to me on the phone today when i got into dallas airport like i talked to my dad all the time i told him i landed he was like yo doug sensor he doesn't call me sensor he's like yo doug uh when i get to champs i want to get this shirt that says i am juanito and then he wants to have on the back of the shirt professional cheek clapper like these are the things that my dad says guys like I can't make this stuff up. He's a freaking savage. But I love my dad. I always have a good time talking to him. Uh, he's become one of my really good friends. And it was actually his birthday. So I had this barbecue at, his, at my house. Like, I literally bought this grill. I bought this, like, outdoor table. Like, I bought all these things. I had this family barbecue at my house three days ago. And I had my grandparents over. I had my, my uncles over. I had my dad over. I had my sister over. Her boyfriend was over at my house. And my sister was like, yo, Doug, we don't have any sugar. So I need you to go out to the store. And I need you to pick up some sugar for me. And I was like, of course, you know, like, I got you, right? So I go all the way out to the store. I buy some sugar for my sister and uh, I'm coming home from right in and I'm going in the right hand lane in a two lane highway so like there's two lanes going right there's two lanes going left and I'm in the right lane and I have this like EDM station blasting and I'm just like feeling it guys I'm single I'm living I'm like you know stepping out of my, I don't know I just feel some type of way so I'm I'm stepping on the gas I'm accelerating it's a 40 mile an hour zone and I was going like 20 accelerating all the way up to 40 and I just hit 40 all of a sudden, this car comes from the other side of the highway, crosses through upcoming traffic, and instead of staying in the left lane where he was supposed to stay, this dude cut all the way across to the right lane. I had to stop playing for a second. He literally takes his car. Oh my god, I got, I got, I'm not even trying to play. This guy swipes all the way across the highway, and as I'm driving 40 miles an hour, smashes the top left of my car, and pushes me and squeezes me into the curb, and completely destroys my wheels. And I saw him coming, and I tried to hit my brakes really quick. And I've never been in a car accident before, guys, so like, I think I got in like one little small bender bender before like this was an actual serious head-on collision like this dude clapped me okay as hard as Juanito was clapping those cheeks I see this guy coming and I start slamming on my brakes and I thought for a second I might be able to like get away from his car but it, it was too late there was no way I was coming back from that like I saw it coming I was like dude I am screwed and I had no chance I got squeezed into the curb my car just it, it made this weird ass screech and I was like oh my god this is not gonna be good so I get out of my car and it was this old man and he was just like hey sorry man I didn't see you there I was like, dude, just give me your license and your registration. I'm going to take a picture and get out of here. Like, I got to go to a family barbecue. I got some sugar that I had to go give to my family, right? So uh, he gives me his, his license and registration. He was super calm and collected. Like, he didn't even care. And I just went on my way. I ended up getting it appraised, and it's a lot of damage, guys. Like, it's going to come out to, like, almost $10,000 worth of damage. I have a thumbnail, which I use. I have a couple of pictures as well, which I can put on the screen right away. Like, these are the pictures right here. This is how bad it was. Like, the entire front fender is destroyed. It has to be completely brand new and replaced. Two of my wheels and my rims on my passenger side got absolutely destroyed as well so I'm gonna have to get those fixed so I have my car in an auto body shop right now as I'm away in Texas so it's not that bad like when I get back from Texas the car will be fine and guys I am okay like everything is fine with me which is a really good thing like it would really suck after having the flu to get into a car accident like my thumbs would literally fall off my hand or something from 
from this accident. Like, that would really suck. Like, thank God I'm okay. It's just a car. Like, insurance is going to take care of it. I'm going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. But, man, like, it's just crazy. Like, anything could have happened. Like, I'm so lucky that nothing happened to me. I'm so lucky that I wasn't at, like, first of all, I wasn't at fault. But I was so lucky that nothing happened to me or nothing happened to him or his wife. Like, it's crazy how fast things could change, guys. Like, I was telling that to my friend the other day. I was like, listen, things could happen. Things could change fast. And there's some things you just can't control. I never thought I was going to get in a car accident going out to get some sugar for my, my dad's barbecue, like a family barbecue. Like, I'm just trying to say, guys, count your blessings because you never know when life is going to end. You never know when, like, things are going to change and circumstances are going to change. But I'm just having a ball destroying these guys on the sand pit map right now. The one thing I don't like is that these soldiers are actually, like, the same soldiers that are on the map. So, like, I don't know if to shoot at those shoulders or if I should shoot at the ones that are, like, behind this little boat thing right here. Like, I kind of get confused behind that. But other than that, like, this is actually kind of cool. They're not taking B. Not on my watch. Let's go, baby. I just got burned. I got burned by a freaking magnifying glass. Are you serious, dude? Oh, guys, by the way, I'm sorry about the audio being weird. I'm using my Astro headset. I don't have my external mic on me, obviously, because I'm here in Texas. But I hope the quality from this Elgato is really good. Like, I hope that everything looks good and everything looks fine. Because I literally did the best I could. Because I really wanted to have a setup here. And I really want to make some videos while I'm here. Because I'm going to have a little bit of extra time. Obviously, we're going to be grinding a lot. But I wake up early. Like, I've been waking up at, like, 9 a.m. every single day back at home. Because I was sick. And then I want to go out on my jet ski. So I've been waking up early here in Texas. I want to make some videos. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments down below like I do want to make a couple of videos that I have in mind but I'm not too sure yet Alright, so we got the dub I don't know like this map is kind of cool to be honest I don't know what you guys think about it I personally do enjoy this map all right so besides for that giant magnifying glass this map is actually pretty dope all right that's what I'm gonna wrap this video up today guys hope you all enjoyed but before I do end it I want to talk a little bit more about Squarespace so if you guys don't know I was actually at a lunch today with my team with uh, Blast, Dashy, and our manager Scott and we we're talking about how so many people now can make careers online like this wasn't a job for anyone 10 years ago if you guys don't know Squarespace is a place where you can make your own online domain you can make your own website your own online store basically Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build and run your online business so if you guys are interested in making your own online business or making your own online website or domain or anything like that at all you guys can use my link it'll be the first link in the description below if you guys want to go to squarespace.com slash sensor you guys can save 10% on your first website or domain but thank you all so much for watching I hope you guys all do have a great day subscribe if you guys are new leave a like on the video and again I'm sorry for like the lighting I'm sorry for the audio I don't have all my stuff like I do at home but I just want to make the most of it and I'm just really excited for champs, guys. It's coming up. It's in like another week. We have a huge match. We're gonna be playing FaZe Clan in our first match. I don't know if you guys know that. We literally are playing FaZe in our first match of champs. Like, I am so freaking pumped. I can't wait. It's gonna be lit. We're gonna be on main stage, I think, next Wednesday. So I'll give you guys more details when we get a little bit closer to the event. But right now, it's grind time. I'm gonna try to make a couple more videos. I'm gonna be grinding with my team. And I'm just really excited to compete at champs. So thank you all so much for the support. I hope you guys all have a great day. It's been your boy, Doug Sensor Martin. And I'm out, guys. Peace.